My name's Hawaiian Shirt Joe. This is ranking Cartoon Network programming uh, tier list. We have a lot of programming and some of this you may recognize. There was a lot that I didn't recognize. There are some like ones that stick out in my mind when I do look at this list. Adventure Time, Chowder, The Amazing World of Gumball, Ben 10, like Samurai Jack, Regular Show. There are some, some heavy hitters on this list. It is going to be interesting seeing what we come out with and especially with that much programming. Two Stupid Dogs. So this looks familiar, but I can't confidently say that I ever watched it. Like the characters and like the art style, they look pretty familiar, but I just don't remember ever watching the show. So I'm going to put into never watch slash don't remember. Oh, 16. I do remember this one, bro. Holy shit. I kind of forgot about this show. It's like all the teenagers that hang out in a mall and like they all hang out at the lemonade stand. Man, Lemonade, what a fucking 2000s thing. Like, like Lemonade was really just trying to be like the most hip in style thing. Uh, or maybe that's just what adults thought kids liked was Lemonade. I would probably put at B good. Maybe it's probably I'm remembering it better than it was, but I feel like I have some good memories watching that. A pup named Scooby-Doo. That's really difficult, man. It's not an amazing show, but... It's also Scooby-Doo, like it doesn't really miss. I think I'm gonna have to put this one in B as well. And probably put it below 16 since it was just a spinoff and not like an original IP, you know? Adventure Time, You, if you know me at all, if you know me at all, I literally have an Adventure Time tattoo on my back. So you can probably guess what Adventure Time is for me. It's D, bad. No. <laughs> No, I'm just fucking with you. Adventure Time is S tier. The best, the GOAT, the best Cartoon Network TV show there is. I'm putting that out there right now. Ain't nothing on this list is going to usurp Adventure Time. Almost Naked Animals. So I'm going to put into Never Watch slash Don't Remember instead of What, are this, what Is This? Because I, I remember what it is, but I just never watched it. The Amazing World of Gumball. I think I'm going to have to put that in S tier. Um, and the amazing world of gumball for some of my older generation is not going to be like, there's going to be so many people that are above the age of like 25. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Like the amazing world of gumball S tier, like what the hell? No, trust me. Trust me. Like if you watch the later seasons of the amazing world of gumball, like it's so good. It's such a nuanced show. It's got such clever writing like it's it's just great the last show of like the best generation of uh cartoon network you know that 2010s era all these you know heavy hitters and then the amazing world of gumball came out towards the tail end of those shows and then survived until basically we're at the shit end of cartoon network you know apple and onion i literally don't remember what the fuck this is i've never seen this before that's a what is this Atomic Betty? What the fuck? I, I've never heard of that. That's, uh, what is this? Baby Looney Tunes. Now, let me say, it wasn't a show that I seeked out. It was just a show that would sometimes be on that I didn't really mind watching. So I'm going to put it at C, Mediocre, just because, number one, it also, it's not like original. It is a spinoff. Maybe I should put a pup named Scooby-Doo down to Mediocre since it is another Mediocre spinoff. I'm going to do that. All right, Batman Beyond. So I want to put this at S tier. And I know there are so many people that are going to want me to put this as, at S tier. I'm going to put it at S tier. <laughs> I'm putting this in S tier because it is one of the few shows on this list that I think is just stellar and stands out amongst like its peers. Uh, regular Batman, I'll probably put that at B good just because it doesn't really stand out in my mind as a Batman uh, animated slash cartoon. Ben 10. So, okay, let's get into this, all right? Because I loved Ben 10 when I was a kid. But there are so many fucking iterations of Ben 10 here. We have Ben 10, Ben 10 Alien Force, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, Ben 10 Omniverse, and then a little, and like a fucking prepubescent Ben 10. Like, that's like Ben 6. Ben 6 is going into what is this? Like, that just looks like so shit. Ben 10 Omniverse, I'm also going to put into what is this? Just because this Ben 10 looks so fucked. These two, I just don't like these Bens, and that's really what's going to determine this for me. Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, I think I vaguely remember this, and I'm going to put it, yeah, I think I'm going to put it top of B tier. 
just because I do, I don't I think it's good, but I don't think it holds up to its uh, predecessors as well. I'm gonna put this Ben 10 in the great, and I'm gonna put this Ben 10 into the S tier. And you have to treat a car like you treat a woman. Go on. No. <laughs> like that's such an iconic line. I remember it so well. This was just the goat Ben 10, honestly, right here. This Batman, I don't remember this. I'm gonna put this in never watch slash don't remember. Camp Laszlo, I remember watching Camp Laszlo as a kid. Looking back on it, I'm sure it was trash, but as a kid, it was just such dumb humor that I found it so entertaining. I think I'm gonna put it like top of Camp Laszlo. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's like, it's so nostalgic that I wanna rank it higher, but it's like, I have to admit that it is really shitty. Fuck it, we'll put it bottom of B. Uh, Captain Planet. So this is one that I know just because it is like iconic. I never watched it. It just felt like really kind of like dated as a child. I'm, I'm just like digging a hole for myself right now. But I'm gonna put this at, into never watch because I did in fact never watch it. Chop Saki Chooks? Why did that feel racist to say that? <laughs> what the fuck is this show it's utensils that look like disco characters that do kung fu who the fuck thought of this like what drugs were they on holy hell what is this what the fuck has anyone ever heard of this what the hell chowder chowder's goaded chowder's s tier that's going above the amazing world but below Ben 10. Clarence? Okay, let me say that I have a hatred for the show Clarence. I think it is so dumb, so bad, and they just ushered in this new age of shitty Cartoon Network programming. Is that Andre 3000? Is that Class? Class 3000? Did Andre 3000 have a fucking Cartoon Network show? What the fuck is this? Actually, I'll put that into what is this? Like, because I'm just like, what the fuck is that? Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? This looks like a TV show. Now, let me just say, I have watched the movie and read the book, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and I enjoy both of those uh, pieces of fine literature. But this looks like a, a TV show adaptation, and I'm not liking it as much. I'm going to assume that it's a TV show version that i didn't watch and i'm gonna put it into never watch slash don't remember code el yoko a world without danger code old yoko what the fuck am i looking at why does his face look like that inbreds i'm so sorry <laughs> i mean it's just so weird like look at them and then look at the kid coming to the side like what the fuck <laughs> I'm gonna put that into what is this? Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. Look at what is next, boys. Code name, kids next door. Let's fucking go. One of the goats, the absolute goats. That is going S tier right behind Adventure Time. It was one of my favorites. And like, if Adventure Time wasn't up there, it would be my favorite on this list right now. What can I say? Like, it's just a goaded show. Like, there's just nothing more to say than that. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Fuck, that's another goaded show. I might have to start dropping some. I think Courage, it's got to go S tier. It's just so iconic. And I'm going to put it probably above Batman Beyond. I know Batman Beyond is like heralded as one of the greats, but it's Courage the Cowardly Dog, man. Kudos. Like, that was when Cartoon Network had some fucking balls, you know? Cow and Chicken. I remember this but very vaguely. I'm gonna say C tier. Craig, what is that? Craig on the Creek? Craig of the Creek? I've heard of that, but I've never watched it. The Camp Twins? What the fuck is this? What is this? It's literally a kid who's like fucking blue. Is this Megamind? Like Megamind the, the junior years? Superhero girls? What? What the hell is this? Have you, has anyone watched this? Like, what the fuck? Superhero Girls, that's so interesting. I did not know that was a thing. Did people watch that? Oh, Dexter's Laboratory, bro. That shit, God, I'm gonna say this so many times, but Dexter's Laboratory was goaded. Like, Dexter's Laboratory, that's gotta go S tier. I would say above uh, Ben 10. Dragons, oh, this is like the, the How to Train Your Dragon TV show. Didn't watch it. Duck Dodgers. Like it was another spin. It was an amazing spinoff. I'll put it below the original Ben 10. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Holy fuck. That's gotta be S tier. I'm actually gonna put Ben 10 
over and then i'm gonna put chowder right there i think that's a little bit because i just feel like a the greats are like these are the greats but like s is like these are timeless icons that have like an impact on a generation evil concarne what the fuck is that no recollection of this show like it's just like a vague memory of the characters I'm gonna put that in a never watch. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I think I'm gonna put that one. I think that's gotta be another S tier. The Garfield Show, um, nothing against Garfield, but I'm gonna put that in the bad category. I'll put it above Clarence, but like I watched it, it's not good. It's just like, it's pretty shit, not gonna lie. Rex, what the fuck is this? Typical teenager, state of the art weapon. I'm gonna put that into, what is this? George of the Jungle? I didn't know he had a cartoon. Never watched. Green Lantern. So I've heard that this Green Lantern show was goaded. I'm sure you're an S tier show, but you're going into the never watched slash don't remember. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That's going to go into the top of great, I would say. And I know some people are going to get mad that I don't put that in S. Maybe I should put Foster's down to A. I want S tier to be a really refined position. Grim and Evil? I've never heard of this. Um, I want to put that into what is this? He-Man and the Masters of the Universe? I never watched He-Man. It was just a little bit before my time, and I never really thought He-Man looked that cool. He had like a golden bowl cut. Puffy, Amy, Yumi. What? I've literally never heard of that. I am Weasel. What the fuck is this? What, what the fuck are these? Infinity Train. Okay. Uh, so I watched it and I will say it was a good show, but it just like didn't really like hook me enough. So I'm going to put this at bottom of B tier because I do think it is good quality and it like probably is worth a try, worth a watch for a lot of people. Johnny Bravo. This is probably the one that I'm going to get canceled over. I think Johnny Bravo was pretty mid as a show. I'm going to put this into D, bad. Johnny Test, okay. <laughs> now this is where my Zoomer is gonna show through because I did watch a ton, a ton of Johnny Test. It was a kind of mid show, like looking back on it, it like when I was a kid, like bling bling man, like come on, like bro, like come on. I'm gonna put Johnny Test up a B tier. It's good. It's good, but it's not great. The Justice League. Okay, so there are two Justice Leagues here. I don't know the difference between the two. Oh, look at this. There's a third Justice League. And the art style for the first two look exactly the same, but I feel like I remember this one more. I'm going to put both of these into bottom of A tier just because I remember them being good. But like the fact that I don't remember them enough to like tell them apart. I'll probably put them like above Duck Dodgers. I might put Duck Dodgers. I think I'm going to put Duck Dodgers um, below Ben 10, actually. I think I'm actually going to put it below 16. I think I'm actually going to put it below. I think we actually, we're going to put it at the bottom of BT. <laughs> Duck Dodgers by the end of this is going to be in like uh, D tier. All right, this Justice League, I don't remember it, but it looks like new and shiny and not as good. It would only be fair to put it into never watch slash don't remember. Crypto the Superdog, I do remember watching it. And it was good, but it was like, uh, you know, eh. So I'm going to put that into mediocre just because it was another spinoff that like, it's like you could watch it, but it's not necessarily something you would always seek out, right? The League of Super Evil? I don't remember this. What, what is that? Juniper Lee? Okay, I have heard things about Juniper Lee, but I never watched it. <laughs> so that's going to go into never watch slash don't remember. Long Live the Royals? What the fuck is this? Is that a fucking Cartoon Network show? Long Live the Royals? Okay, the Looney Tunes show. Okay, so I watched the Looney Tunes show avidly as a kid. I love that show. I thought it was amazing, you know? So I think I'm going to put that... I'm going to put it below 16. I think it's a good show, not an amazing show. Johnny Test back a little bit just because it was a little bit... It was a little bit cheese. It was a little bit corn. I can admit that mad tv okay now there were three shows uh, me and i used to go over to my friend's house because we both watched these same three shows and they came on back oh so back to back to back adventure time regular show and then mad tv i don't think mad tv was like as good as s tier like ed ed and eddie adventure time codename kids next door so i'm gonna put it 
A tier, and I think I'm gonna put it like bottom of A tier. Mau Mau Mau? I've literally never heard of that. What is this? The Misadventures of Flapjack. Holy shit, what an amazing show. But is it iconic? I don't even think it's better than The Misadventures of Billy and Mandy, so I'm gonna put it, I'll put it below Ben 10. How about that? M Megas? Megas XLR? What the fuck? That's a what is this? Um, Magis Swords? What the fuck are these? That's a what is this? Mike and Luag? Oh, I think I remember seeing this, but like, it's like the brother is like a caveman or something. D tier, just because like, I can vaguely remember enough to know that I didn't like it. Mixels, never heard of that. That's going into what is this? The Moxie Show? That's a what is this? Mucha, Mucha Lucha. Oh, like a luchador. Mucha Luchador. Okay, but Mucha Lucha. I remember this show. I'm going to put it in... I think top of C tier, because it was like a good show, but it wasn't like amazing. But it was a little entertaining. I watched it a few times. My gym partner's a monkey. Top of C tier. That feels like a top of C tier show. It was like something that I would watch sometimes, but like it just never was good enough to really get me to watch it like more than once at a time, you know? Ninjago, one episode of Ninjago, and it might have even been the movie. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. It might have been the movie if they have Ninjago movies. I'm pretty sure they do. So I'm going to put that into never watch slash don't remember. Because, like, I don't know if I watch that one or something else. And I only remember watching, like, a couple scenes. Okay, KO. That sounds so familiar, but I never watched it. So I'm going to put that into don't remember. Over the Garden Wall. Okay, this is another one that looks familiar, but like, I don't know. It's like I don't remember it, but it looks vaguely familiar. And I feel like I've probably seen it somewhere. But I'm going to put that into Don't Remember as well. Never watched. Ozzy and Drix. That's a what is this? Definitely. Like, I've never heard of that in my life. What the fuck? Powerpuff Girls. Okay. Okay. So I think I have to speak more towards the general public with Powerpuff Girls. Like, I liked Powerpuff Girls, but for me, I think Powerpuff Girls would be an 